YouTube channel again another week. Uh, yep, yeah, it's been a bit of not such a long time. I mean, I released the plum dress uh, blog tutorial not long ago, but uh, I don't think I have really done any other video. Oh, yes, I did one about uh, changing wardrobes between seasons, but I haven't done anything else. So I, I thought that I would come today just to show you my lockdown <laughs> me mates, um, basically garments that I've been making and other plans that I uh, haven't had the time or the will to finish or to start. Uh, so yeah, that's the video for today. I also have other crafty projects, but I'm not sharing those today, just garments uh, for now. And you may also think, why is Anna wearing glasses? Well, my eyesight is terrible, basically. I see really badly. I always, always, always wear contact lenses all the time, everywhere. But today, for some reason, I couldn't see properly and I had a headache and I also wanted to do the video and because now I'm feeling better, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna wear my glasses, which I never wear, but my eyesight is really, guys, like really, really terrible. My family has been trying to convince me to do like laser surgery or whatever, but I'm too scared of doing that. You're not going anywhere near my eyes with a laser. <laughs> I'm gonna start showing you what I've made during lockdown. Uh, at the beginning, I was sewing like crazy. I think that I was, you know, trying to uh, make myself feel better and also be really, really super busy. Apart from work, I was like, yeah, yes, I need to make this and that. I didn't have any time to rest and I made so many things, but then I just stopped and I've been doing a lot of cross stitch and the next project is going to be also uh, some sort of needlepoint work, like a cushion. Uh, I've got a few things that I want to actually make, like garments, but I don't know, I've, I've just been feeling a little bit like more regarding making more clothes. Maybe it's because of the fact that I don't really leave the house that much, um, even now. Um, so I don't know, I just think that maybe that's the reason why I don't feel like making so many clothes, even though I wear them every day uh, working from home, which is what I've been doing for years. But I don't know, I just don't have this feeling, oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna you know, keep making clothes. Anyway, I don't know. I'm just gonna start showing you what I've been making. First of all, sorry for this one because it was already on the um, autumn winter um, suitcase, so that's why it looks like this. Uh, this is an archer shirt from um, Grey Line Studio, and this fabric is a linen from uh, Merchant and Mills. And I hacked the collar to do uh, to add this little ruffle, and honestly. I'm so in love with this shirt. I cannot really wear it now because this linen is quite heavy, so it feels too warm for right now. But um, I don't know, it is it is super lovely and this fabric is amazing. I know that somebody else in the sewing community has made something with this. I think it was uh, Atia from the Bright Blooms. Um, so yeah, this one loved and I have another two Archer shirts, which honestly, I think this is the best shirt pattern for me. I really love it. It's like um, loose and super comfy, so really happy with that one. Then I made three pair of Morgan jeans. I used to have a normal pair of jeans, like Morgan jeans uh, with denim, but they were, I mean, I used to wear them like every single day, so I just had to give those to charity because they were yeah, they, 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 it was not something that I was going to wear anymore. So I made another pair um, using this denim from Dicker, Dicker, no, it's Meter Meter DK, which is an online shop based in Denmark. And honestly, uh, I think they bought a physical shop as well. They sell such beautiful fabrics. So I got quite a few fabrics from them before lockdown. Uh, so I made this pair of uh, Morgan jeans and then another one here. This one is really soft and perfect for like spring and summer. This is like a sort of twill and yeah, it's really soft. The only problem with this one is that the fabric is so um, thin, 
compared to the you know normal denim that when I put the buttons up I was so worried about ruining the fabric it is okay but yeah just there and then this one is another twill and it's another pair of Morgan jeans uh, I've been wearing this quite a lot during um, like more you know in between more, more like in March or something like that not so much now um, so yeah I made all those and also I played um, Cleo Dangari dress using again another twill fabric from Meter Meter Decay I think this one uh, is from Somi Sunshine uh, but this one is from Meter Meter Decay again and it's a Cleo Dangari dress which I really like uh, I don't know it's really comfy and you know it's something that goes with everything is this like sort of teal color sort of green so I made this one and then I made this juniper cardigan using this amazing uh, merino wool from um, the fabric store in New Zealand or Australia and I also wore this one a lot during uh, like March and April uh, I think that most of these things are more like for that time, not like not like summer. Um, then I made this Tamarack jacket with this amazing fabric from Merchant and Mills. And it was a little bit of a pain to sew with, but mainly because it um, frays so much really badly. So I had to... Um, overlook all the seams like all the edges all the raw edges of the fabric before doing anything else because it was just all over the place everywhere and i also did a lot of uh binding using this beautiful um uh, i think it's rifa paper co um fabric binding which i bought online uh on etsy so this one i've actually been wearing this one quite a lot just even at home just you know to feel comfy and um, yeah, then I made my first ever, um, how is it called, I don't remember now, a wilder gown blouse using this Nani Hero double ghost. I got it from uh, Miss Matabi in Japan and uh, yeah, it is really lovely and I also, I usually wear it with jeans and um, I don't know, it's, it's it's something different right I think the color also is super nice and it makes your I feel like it makes my face brighter and like happier somehow so this one here then I made this one from Ikati patterns I'm gonna leave all the links below I need to cut a thread here um, so this dress I really really love It's super comfy but again the denim which is again from meter meter decay it is quite quite thick so it's not something that I would wear right now it's more like for a spring and um, maybe March or April something like that but not June uh, but I really love it and these buttons are from this button by Eto I think it is from Australia and I got them I think at Cloth and Candy or Somi Sunshine I don't know but it's a super cute dress that goes with basically everything I'm gonna leave it there uh, most of these things they are on my spring summer wardrobe so I don't know because in the UK the weather changes so much that you never know what to wear then I made this uh, wilder gown dress or wilder gown because gown means dress right so anyway this fabric um, is uh, from Petit no Pretty Mer Mercerie in France and it was um, a sleepless in Bavaria uh, who told me about this one uh, so yeah I got the fabric because it was so cute the only problem with this dress is like I think it is too long I might have to make it shorter but I don't want to do it just yet I want to wear it a little bit more just to see if it feels um, strange or not but I have not really been wearing it I don't know guys I just when I leave the house these days when it's like Home, like warm outside I just want to be like super comfy and wear I know that this dress is it is comfy but you know what I mean I don't feel like dressing up that much anyway there it goes then I made this this was a dress but uh, I had to change it into a skirt because 
the fabric was all like fraying so much on the inside and the seams they were like tiny I couldn't even fix them I couldn't even overlock them um, again uh, so I because I love this fabric so much I turned it into a super cute skirt and then what I made as well is these five tops not these two these five tops so two of these are um, instinct t-shirt from um, Sasa Secondo Piano uh, she's a super amazing Italian um, sewist blogger and she created this pattern for free and it's like a super basic t-shirt and I really love this one the only problem that one was okay but the only problem with this one is like I messed up with the neckline and it's so like not in place so when I finished I honestly had like one part of the neckline here like opening up here it looked horrible so I had to like I don't know try to fix it here on the like the shoulder seam now it looks okay but I was so sad that I messed that up but anyway I'm gonna keep um, wearing it and then I made three of the Tabitha tops from the Tilly Buttons um, last book and this one I really really love and I love the neckline and it sits perfectly so I made this one all these jerseys are from the village haberdashery this one as well this one is quite quite heavy uh, the, the, the jersey so um, it's not maybe for a hot summer day and then this one with long sleeves and this one I think is from Gafri and Gali this um, this fabric so I've made all this since March, which is a lot for me because I never make so many coats, never ever. I think it's the first time in my life that I've made so many garments, like in this short amount of period of time. So that's why I was like, okay, let's stop there. I have a couple more things here. And then um, I got these uh, two fabrics from Merchant and Mills as well because I wanted to have another pair of uh, Luna pants from Made by Rai so I'm gonna make a pair of Luna pants with this seersucker which is really soft and nice and you know uh, perfect for the summer so hopefully I will be cutting this maybe next week or the week after and then I got this one which is another seersucker in mustard and with this one I want to make a Ninari tee or top um, but a little bit longer because the last time I made this one it was, it was like so cropped it was too much for me so um, yeah that one this one is for I showed you on one of the videos that I uh, did uh, at the beginning of the lockdown this one is a jersey but it's, this one is for winter and I'm gonna make a uh, Paola Polo turtleneck from Name Clothing so that one there those are my next projects and then I already cut but I don't think I'm gonna make them right now because I feel like it's something more for like autumn so I think I'm gonna leave them here but they are already cut I cut a lumpy, lumpy no, lumpy button down dress I think I've been calling it lumpy all this time but it's called lumpy using this amazing fabric with the stars um, and everything from um, Ruby Star Society and then I'm gonna make yet another <laughs> Archer shirt using this other fabric uh, with little houses. I'm gonna leave the link so that you can see it better. With little houses, and I'm gonna make another archer shirt, as I said. And I got this fabric at Miss Matabi as well as the other one. Uh, they came all the way from Japan during lockdown, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, that's what globalization is. <laughs> Um, so yeah guys, so that's it. I mean, I just wanted to show you the things that I've been, you know, um, making during lockdown. I don't know if you have been making a lot or not. I think I did all these, honestly, on the first month, like month and a half, like from the end of March and then a little bit of April. And then I just stopped uh, and I started doing other things because I needed a rest of all this dressmaking. I'm not used to making, I know that lots of you are, are used to making lots of garments. Uh, all the time but I'm really not used to so it was really strange for me like going from nothing to suddenly having all these clothes finished uh, so I think I'm gonna wait um, I'll make the two uh, like the narity and the luna pants uh, for the summer and then that's it and the rest I will start back again in autumn um, uh, so yeah 
that's it. I don't know. Tell me how it's been for you. If you have been very creative or not, and also tell me about my glasses. If you like them or not. <laughs> I'm sure that you can see my eyes, like because when I see myself in the mirror wearing the glasses, I can see that my eyes look like tiny or strange because my even though maybe you cannot see here, my um uh like the actual glasses they are really thick. <laughs> um so yeah guys that's it thank you so much for watching hope you like the video and i'm gonna leave all the links below to the fabrics and the patterns and i will see you again soon